Hey, boys and girls, Ken Walker here with GetPhotoshopTraining.com. If you are interested in learning how to do photo restoration and retouching, I advise you to go ahead and check out the website. Again, that's GetPhotoshopTraining.com. What I'm going to show you today is a very interesting technique for removing little specks or dust on an image. It's a way to do it very quickly and to do it without using the healing brush. Get that. Yeah, we could go in here. And let me hit the Z key to zoom in real close to this area. You want to do this in areas that don't require a lot of detail work. All right, you can see this background, not a lot of detail there, but we do have a lot of specks, little speckles. I could go through here, make a copy, of course, of my background layer because we don't want to work destructively on an original copy. And if we use the healing brush or the spot healing brush, we could be changing pixels unless we're working on a different layer. One thing about the spot healing brush is that it grabs adjacent pixels, and we don't always know what the result is going to be of that. This technique involves lightening the dark pixels and darkening the light pixels, and it's very, very effective. I'm going to do Control J twice to duplicate my layer, and this top layer, I'm going to double click and call this Lighten, and the middle layer, I'll double click that and call it Darken. We'll go ahead and hide that middle layer. Up here on the lighten layer, though, I'm going to hit the V key to grab my move tool, and I'm going to hit my down arrow key twice, okay, and then my right arrow key twice. That just bumps that whole image over two pixels down and two pixels to the right, okay? Now, we're going to take and we're going to throw that into lighten mode, and you can see you get kind of like totally psychedelic dizzy, right? Well. I'm going to put a mask on this entire layer, but I want the mask to be black. So I'm going to hold my Alt key down. This is the Option key on the Mac. And I'm going to click this New Mask button. Now we have effectively masked everything. Okay, So it doesn't look any different because everything is blocked, right? Black conceals. Now I'm going to grab my brush. I'll hit the B key. And I want a fairly small brush. We're going to do left bracket here and shift left bracket to make sure it's a soft brush all the way. Just a little bit bigger than all of the you know little dots that I want to cover up. Now this does not work for large areas of damage. It's for little speckles. Okay, so of course this is the lighten layer. So we want to paint with white because we're on a black mask. So I'm going to hit the X key to switch to white and I'm going to paint over that black area. And you see what happens there? Totally gone. Again, depends on size, how effective that is. If you go too far, like I just did, hit the X key and switch back. For larger areas, though, it's not going to work that well. This is for smaller little speckles. Let's just use that space bar to keep moving around the image. This is probably too big here, but I'm going to try it anyway. Helped a little bit. Okay, you see how this is, you know, it's not merging any pixels. It is just lightening the dark areas. Little specks. Okay, let's uh, some up here we can hit. And I really do love this technique because it uses the real pixels, right? I don't think that one's going to work too good, but we'll have to do a little bit of healing work to fix that. Okay, so that is the lightning part. Now we want to do darkening. Same thing pretty much, right? Let's turn that layer on. Hit the V key to grab the move tool. I'm going to turn this layer off just so we can see what's going on here. Down arrow key twice, right arrow key twice. You can, by the way, experiment with moving the other direction, like up and left, for example. Uh, this darken layer, though, we're going to throw this into darken mode. And it is, again, psychedelic. Let's hit the Escape key to deselect that. Hold the Alt key down again. This is the Option key on the Mac. And click the new 
uh, mask icon there. So now we've got a mask and we've got, of course, light pixels that we want to darken. So still painting on the mask. Hit the B key for the brush. And we paint right on top of those white pixels. If an area is not working, that's because it's just too big and it ain't going to happen. You do want a fairly soft brush with this, right? Okay. Let's go down here to the bottom. There's a, uh, I think there's some serious stuff down here that you can see. Yeah, check that out. Okay, so now, again, look at that. It's almost like magic. You're just revealing those darkening pixels that the mask is hiding. Okay, and that's basically the technique. What I'm going to do is go ahead and throw up the before and after of this image. I actually do work this image over in my photo restoration course. You're talking about a 13-hour course. Let's look at before and after. Photo restoration and retouching. And, of course, we give a lot more attention to this image but uh, for the sake of time, I'm just going to show you the before and after. Again, check that out at www.getphotoshoptraining.com. I'm Ken Walker, and I look forward to hearing from you.